Good morning and welcome to In Love and Inspire. I am a private first person, Hindu. Um, before we begin, allow me to just say that nothing said in this video is subjected to the UCMJ. All that which will be said is of nothing but my own formulated opinions. Um, upon my story being shared once again, and thank you for sharing my story, I hope it empowers somebody out there. Um, a number of you came into my inbox with some questions of how I, oh that scared me, how that, <laughs> how I became a part of the United States Army, how I found myself in the USA, and many other questions. So I thought, why not create a video, that way I can answer all of these questions at once, so people can relate back to this video, instead of having to answer it multiple times, redundancy is not good at times, so let's get right into it, yes? Before we get into the video, allow me to reintroduce myself. Again, I am Private First Class Mpundu. I am a mother of one little girl. I am an entrepreneur, I'm an author. I am a motivational speaker. I am from Zambian Dola, Coppola, and many, many other things. So let's get into the questions, shall we? What inspired you to join the United States Army? What inspired me to join the United States Army was the fact that I wanted to leave home. In the United States, once you become the age of 18, you're considered an adult, meaning you're responsible for your own actions. And past the age of 18, I was still living with my mother, and that wasn't so good. It was creating tensions between the two of us. You know? And I wanted that independency for myself. Now, the easiest and fastest way I was going to acquire that was to join one of the armed forces of, of the United States. Um, I actually first joined the Air Force, but two weeks away from graduating, I was found eight weeks to be pregnant. So I had to leave, I couldn't finish, provided that I went, gave birth and returned six months later to complete my training, to start my training and complete it. Um, I tried to recontact my recruiter, but he wasn't really willing to help me. I don't know what his reasonings were. Um, so I just went the other way, which was the army, which is where I am today. The second reason is that I wanted somebody to pay for my school and the army does that. So those were the two reasons. The second question is, can one join the United States army from a foreign country? So that question is for um, the recruiter, which I did not have access to. I ended up asking my sergeant who referred me to Google because Google has the answers for everything. But the answer to that question to say, it says one, you must be a non-citizen living permanently and legally in the United States. Secondly, you must be a non-citizen who has permission to work in the United States and has a permanent residency card, has a high school diploma, and can speak English. So those are our requirements. The third question is, what steps do I need to take for me to have a permanent residency um, or a green card per se? The answer to that question is, you must file for an application to register uh, for the permanent residency card. I don't know how many years you have to be in the United, oh, there we go. I don't know, oh, so it says you must be in the United States at least three years in order for you to have a green card or a permanent or for you to apply for permanent residency card. Um, that's a requirement for that. Um, how did I manage to enroll as a USA soldier? Um, I think that that question I should have answered at the very beginning. I don't know why I didn't atomize it. But I came here in 2010 because my mother came here prior, which was 2006. In 2010, she asked for us to come here, meaning my sister and myself. Uh, back then, the former president, Mr. Barack Obama, was a president then, so immigration status wasn't really as strict as it is now. It was strict, but it wasn't stricter. You know what I'm saying? So it was much easier for somebody to um, invite someone from a different country to come to the United States. I don't know about now. Um, the other questions I got when I visit in Zambia, I'm visiting Zambia quite soon, um, next year actually. And then, what is your WhatsApp line? Unfortunately, I do not have a WhatsApp, so the best way you can 
get in contact with me or in touch with me is through my Facebook page, Messenger to be precise. And oh, somebody's asking if anyone is hiring an IT specialist, somebody wants a job. So yeah, can let me know and I'll let them know. Anyways, that's all I have for you today. I look forward to embarking on this grand journey with you all. Um, I don't know what it's going to bring, but I know it's definitely going to bring a lot of positivity. We have a negativity every once so often, but it's all about how we pick ourselves up, up again. Anyways, it's been a pleasure. Don't forget to always hashtag and live and inspire. Cheers, everyone. And God bless. God bless.